up for your headliner, Ali Levin! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, please. What up, Mexicans? Yeah, how's it going? My name is Ali, not to be confused by the uh, Muslim prophet, Ali. Uh, whenever I go into an Uber uh, or a Lyft, if that's your choice, um, it's, uh, it's a disappointing scene. Uh, they're like, you're not Ali? And I'm like, no, I'm Ali. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> they're like, you know that you're a prince. Yes? And I was like, not anymore. Uh, it's, it's disappointing. Uh, speaking of disappointing, how's everyone doing? <laughs> this is such a wonderful room, truly. Blaze, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thanks to all the comics. Uh, I'm Marianne Williamson Energy right now. <laughs> I mean, I was always Marion Williamson energy. Like, just look me in the eye. But uh, tonight especially, I mean, it's very, it's really on the top of my mind. Um, I went to the bathroom earlier. Who's been to the bathroom? Um, I went to the bathroom. I was taking a hot dump at the WeWork that I work at. And um, I was dropping it. And then all of a sudden, I turn around and the door opens, and I realize, oops, I didn't lock the door. Um, which is like a classic Jewish girl mistake, right? Scattered, neurotic, what is she doing, you know? Um, I leave the bathroom, I'm faced with a choice, right? I have to confront the person that's on my ass, and we have to know each other. Um, so I go out of the bathroom, obviously I flush, obviously I wash my hands. Um, and I see this woman, and I look at her and I say, you like that ass? <laughs> I just turned 30, so everything's different. Um, and she looks back at me and she says, do you know who my dad is? <laughs> my, da my dad is Jeffrey Epstein. Oh. So I was like, Do you like my? <laughs> and um, I gotta be honest with you, none of this happened. Okay? <laughs> Except for the part that she did see my ass. But you know what? She never told me her dad was Jeffrey Epstein. I just made that up because I wanted to put you in this false, weird reality of like, maybe it happened, maybe it didn't. Like, this is the kind of world that we're living. Welcome to Trump's America. Okay? That's where we are right now. How does it feel? Sit with it. <laughs> How are you doing? Because I really do care about how you're doing. No, I'm serious. It's like I want to know about your parents' divorce. I want to know about, like, what makes you you. Like, if, if you were to tell this room, like, you know, what's the day in the life of you? I would want to know. And that's my gift, but it's also my curse. Because I care so much. I will talk after the show because I can't, like, I couldn't let it go. But we're not going to do this right now. Um, um, so we live in Trump's America. And it's a weird time, right? Um, I, I often think about what, um, what brings... Yeah, it's Trump's America, and there are ghosts in here right now because Marion Williamson is summoned, okay? Um, what brings you hope? That's what I think about, right? I'm thinking about recently, what brings me hope? I think um, Blaze brings me hope. He's bringing this, this show together, truly. Your eyes bring me hope. This is now like a spoken word session. <laughs> um, and also, children bring me hope. Um, anybody have kids? I don't have kids. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm um, just the, the clock is ticking, right? Um, I recently was at my therapist's office, and do you have kids? Oh, you do. I missed it. I'm sorry. Um, how old are your kids? 
<laughs> Whoa! She's what? She's two. She's two. All right. Hang in there. <laughs> um, I recently was at therapy, and I was telling my therapist that now that I'm 30, I feel like there's this window of time for me to, like, you know, because I'm single and I'm a straight woman. Oh, my God, and I live in New York. So original, right? Um, it's, uh, it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's really fine. Uh, but I, I was telling my therapist this, that there's this strange pressure, right, that I have a timetable, and he just looks at me and he's like, wow, that seems like a lot. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, right? I was like, oh, my God, but I'm not paying for you. So it's okay, you know, because <laughs> if I was, this wouldn't be fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're living in Trump's America. What brings me hope? Children bring me hope. I used to work with kids, and um, I found that it was such a meaningful experience because I could... I could shape, you know, who they were, and I was a part of their memories. Like, I'll never forget I was with these two boys, um, a black boy and a white boy. Listen closely. Um, <laughs> they were both five, and I sent them off to the bathroom together. And uh, they came back, and they were sobbing. And one of them was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I was like, what's wrong? And he was like, he looked at my peepee and he said it was small. And I was like, that's going to fuck you up for the rest of your life. <laughs> like, that will ruin your life. Obviously, we know which boy was which. <laughs> right? Um, okay. And this is like a sick situation, right? Because we're not thinking about children's penises, um, which I want to put you in this place intentionally. Uh, but, uh, you know, I felt like I was a part of that. You know, I created that memory for them. I was a part of that. That meant a lot to me. Three, two, one, who do you masturbate to? Barack Obama. Anyone else? So, yes, I sometimes I'll put on, like, the Mark Maron, Barack Obama interview and just, like, yeah. go for it, okay? Like, that is what turns me on. And then I don't know if anybody else experiences this, but uh, sometimes my brain will just think of, like, my dad's balls when I'm masturbating. <laughs> yes! No, like, a flash of, like, a memory of, like, when I saw my dad's balls when I was seven. And I'm like, you're sick. But whatever. <laughs> it's fun. It's so, it's weird and fun being me. I feel like I'm like Barbara Streisand mixed with Mr. Rogers if they had a baby and they were like mysterious, right? Um, I uh, recently I went to Montreal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everyone's feeling it. Um, Montreal's a weird place, but it was very fun. It's very romantic. Um, I met somebody when I was there. Uh, I, but it wasn't like someone that I would expect. Um, I met a mascot. <laughs> I was working on a project and uh, I, was, I, I was spending a lot of time with a, a professional national hockey league mascot. <laughs> and um, you know, mascots are not allowed to talk. <laughs> So that's like really hot to me <laughs> because there's like so much sexual tension that's built up. So we were sitting on a golf cart in the middle of like Olympic Stadium and you know, I was looking at like it's big furry orange <laughs> situation with it's like plastic googly eyes. <laughs> and I was like, and it turned to me, <laughs> and it was like, so which part of Brooklyn do you live in? <laughs> and then I like instantly was not interested in, in it anymore. Um, I'll leave you with uh, some Marianne Williamson energy. Um, so this is, Mar this is Marianne Williamson ordering a coffee, all right? When I say psychic, you say energy, psychic. Energy. Psychic. Energy. When I say radical, you say love. Radical. Love. Radical. Love. When I say surrender, you say all your fears. Surrender. All your fears. Surrender. All your fears. I would not like to order a coffee. 
I just wanted to create a situation where we could connect in a way that would break down the barriers of the expectation of connection. <laughs> and here we are. Thank you very much. Thank you.